So Daniel, you and I were talking recently yes. uh, about clients and how do they know if their numbers are good or bad? So that's a question I get asked quite often because business owners, they want to know what their numbers are saying. There is a desire to understand what is going on with their business numerically and how they make decisions based around that. Are my numbers good? Are my numbers bad? Do I need to be concerned? Do I need to celebrate? And where we often get to is I'm presented with a set of financial statements of an income statement and a balance sheet that has revenue, cost, net income, and a balance sheet that has cash, liabilities, and equity. And for me, my initial reaction is I don't know. I don't know if those numbers are good mm -hmm. or bad mm -hmm. because I don't know if that falls in line with expectations. I don't know if we're in a cyclical period where we may be on a slow time of year or we may be underperforming in a really busy time of year. Um, there's a lot of other factors that play in. And so conceptually speaking, to tie it all together, one of the first questions I ask is, how did we do before? Right? To always test ourselves against history. And so the first thing I, I, I personally ask for is either previous months income statement and balance sheet, or maybe previous months, if I could have it. The previous more, years. Previous the, years, uh -huh. the more the better. Mm -hmm. And one thing to keep in mind is an annual set of finance statements is also very different than interim financial statements. So a first quarter income statement balance sheet is gonna tell you one story, but looking at the fiscal year's income statement balance sheet is gonna tell you something different because now the full business cycle has completed and you, you went through the peaks and valleys mm -hmm. that you may experience. So when I look at all these components, when I review a set of interim financial statements, I personally look at income statement first because an income statement is a movie and my first question is how are we doing and do we need to make adjustments? Mm -hmm. When I look at annually, an annual set of finance statements, my first question is how did we do? Mm -hmm. And so the first thing I look at is the balance sheet because the balance sheet tells me is the company financially healthy or not after the year has completed. And so just in that alone, I think there needs to be always this recognition of what you're looking at, what questions you're seeking to answer, of really the concept of around, are my numbers good or bad? Because that's a very, not loaded question, but it could go in a lot of different directions. So then what you're saying is, are my numbers good or bad compared to what? Right. Compared to what? Right. And I think so often clients talk to us, prospective clients talk to us, and they hand us the financials and they expect us to know. Uh, so when you have more, more pieces of the puzzle, it provides much more clarity. Yep. You talked about um, looking at the balance sheet at the, end of a, at the end of a year, and you know that's a complete cycle, and you can tell if a business is healthy or not. What are the things that you look at to determine if it's healthy? So the first thing I look at is cash. Um, cash is very obvious, very known, very commonly seen as, hey, do I have cash? Then I'm good. If I don't have cash, then I'm not good, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's the very, very first place I look. And where I look at, the reason why I started there is cash is tied to so many different parts of the balance sheet. So immediately when I look at cash, I also look at accounts receivable and inventory right after. Um, mm. If my cash is in a pretty decent place, but my receivables are super low, then we may have an issue with volume, sales volume. Oh, okay. And so if I, and, and on the same side, if my cash is really good, but my inventory is also really low, then we may not be positioned well enough to satisfy future revenues. We may have back order issues. And with supply chain being what it is today, everything takes longer. So these days I'm seeing a lot more inventory on the books at higher values because not only do are things costing more, but those, we need to buy inventory sooner so we have to kind of stock up and for me when I look at inventory I also look at accounts payable too and so for me it's like a, a couple things it's cash inventory accounts payable as like one set of numbers 
Another set is cash accounts receivable revenue to see are my sales volumes okay. Mm -hmm. And other places that I look to next is what else do I have, right? Sometimes we have fixed assets, not yeah. all companies do, but sometimes we have fixed assets. And the next place I look is within the debt section. Are our, our, our debts, are our, our liabilities going up or going down? Mm -hmm. And how that aligns with company strategy of different types of investment cycles. We may be in a season that we want to, we're okay with higher debt to buy more inventory, to grow the business, or we may have suffered through long periods of high levels of debt that we really want to bring down. And for me, it's, you know, how do we best use cash? And personally for me, I always tell people my favorite finance statement is the statement of cash flows, because what yeah. that does is it captures the movement between where I stood financially at one period. So in, to use financial terms, what my beginning balance sheet was mm -hmm. to where my cash went so that I end up with a cash level that I have today. So maybe maybe we won't get into this right now, but I think so often clients look at their income statement and they see a number at the bottom line that's their profit and they say, well, that's not how much cash we have. That's not how much we added to cash. Right. And what you're saying is the statement of cash flows is that missing link, that missing yeah. piece, and that's why it's your favorite. Yes. So like, I think we, we will definitely cover that on another video for you. Yeah, there's a lot of, to give like a little teaser to that video, there's a lot of aha moments discovered in a statement of cash flows analysis of where did my money go? Because when you look at your income statement and then when you look at your balance sheet, there's a question, where did my money go? Because it does not often correlate. And there's a ton of factors, which again, will be a great teaser for our next cash flow video. All right, thank you. Yep.